And welcome back. The Stampede were back at the Premier Center tonight for the Game 3 of the Western Conference Finals. And uh, that meant a chance to sweep the series and clinch a spot in the Clark Cup Finals. We talked about it at 6. They just love being on their home ice. They play with a lot more confidence. Early on, it looked like it was going to be tough for anybody to score. Nice save by Isaiah Seville, the goalie for the Storm. But still in the first, Austin Swankler, who scored that goal in the fourth overtime to win it. Uh, that was in the previous series against, uh, well, two previous series ago against Sioux City. That made it one to nothing. And later in the first period, Cronilla with the steal and the shot and the score. It's 2-0 in favor of the Herd. And they've got a hot goalie, a Jackson Starber. You can hardly tell he's been their backup most of the year. And forced into being the starter, he's been really, really good for them. But third period now, the Storm would storm back. Benji Eckerly scores to make it a 2-1 game. And then on the rebound, it's going to be Shane Pinto. So the game is all tied up at 2-2 in the third period. Final minute of the game. Watch Brian Chambers stuff it in in front of the goal for what turns out to be your game winning goal. Brian Chambers again with a game winner and the Stampede will have reaction to this tomorrow. Brandon will, the final score at 3-2. They win the series three games to nothing Swankler, Cronilla, Chambers with the goals. Stauber was really good in net, so they will play in the Clark Cup Finals. On to Minot, North Dakota, where the Aberdeen Wings are playing Game 3 of the Central Division Finals, also a best-of-five series. Justin Kelly throws it on net, but you know, Matt Vernon's the best player in the league, no matter what position. He was the MVP of the Central Division. And look at that tic-tac goal. Adam Pitter scores his second goal of the game, and then it's gonna be Joe Strada, his second goal of the game. That makes it a five to one game after two periods. Let's go to your scoreboard. Wings win it seven to two. Pitters with two, Strada with two. Uh, three more guys score. Wings now lead that series two to one, it's best of five, so they can wrap that up tomorrow night. The 94th Howard Wood Dakota Relays got going today at Howard Wood Field in Sioux Falls, and because of Several lightning delays. Things got pushed way back, like two and a half hours back. In the action tonight, in the women's 400 meter run, Abby Zastro of Mary, she takes the top spot with a time of 55.91. That was followed up by the men's 400. USD's Brennan Schmidt, he takes the top spot with a time of 48.25. And then the women's pole vault, what a heated battle this was. Unattached, Emily Grove, used to be at USD. She's gonna take first and smash the record. 14 feet, 11 inches for her. Chris Nelson is vaulting right now. Wow. All right, so before the weather hit, earlier today, more action. Yes, it was a rainy day, not in Georgia, but in Sioux Falls. Women's four by 100, that's Callie DeWitt from Augustana bringing home the Baton in the 4x1 with a time of 46.54. That's a new school record. The men's 4x100. Dakota State freshman Trent Ambrose beats out Southwest Minnesota State Quarry Busari by six one hundredths of a second with a 41.54. The uh, special events were tonight. We'll have those highlights tomorrow. Joe Von Bolo won as we expected, and Aaron Palmer of Bismarck won the girls' 800 meter. Joe won the 200 meter. He, of course, as we've talked about, is going to run his college track at Florida. All right, let's roll along now to softball up in Brookings. Great doubleheader between South Dakota State and USD. USD up 5-0 in the bottom of the seventh inning, and the Jackrabbits erupt. Julia Anderson's bases clearing double scored all three runs. That capped a six-run rally, and State did win that first game 6-5, but in the second game, Jessica Rogers she came up with the bases loaded, and look what she does. That's called a grand slam. Rogers had herself quite the afternoon in game number two. Here she is again, ripping one to left. That goes to the wall. Third uh, base coach is getting tired of waving that arm. Two more run scores. She had six RBIs in the game and a split. As uh, we go to the scoreboard, USD comes back to win that second game, 11-2. to two. Anderson did hit a two-run homer in that game. USD clinching the number two spot, the number two seed in the uh, tournament. 
Augustana wins one to nothing in the first game. They win that second game three to two. They are now 50 and eight, and they are in the winner's bracket in the NSIC tournament. St. Cloud eliminates USF six to five. Duluth eliminates SMSU eight to three. Also at the uh, GPAC tournament, elimination games, Dort and Mount Marty both done Ryder with two homers and four RBIs for the Lancers in that second game. South Dakota State in baseball, Olmstead, Tyler Olmstead of uh, Sioux Falls with a four hitter and nine strikeouts in that game. Jamestown beat Northwestern in the GPAC tournament, Concordia over Dakota Wesleyan. Mount Marty eliminated by Doan, eight to six and Dakota Wesleyan and Doan just starting their elimination game. Augustana swept two from Upper Iowa, 6-0 and 13-0. Northern takes two from Mary, 5-4 and 10-3. USF over Concordia, St. Paul, 4-2. St. Cloud, 12-1, that game suspended in the fifth inning. They'll finish that and play the other game tomorrow. Girls golf, O'Gorman wins the Yankton invite by 15 shots. McCormick and Podal were your medalists. And Del Rapids invite won by Sioux Falls Christian. Fossum wins that along with Tim's. They tie at 89. As for the Twins, they lose in New York to the Yankees, where they always lose. They have a terrible time playing in New York. Final score is 6-3. And again, the Stampede win. They sweep the series, and the Wings win. They're up 2-1 in theirs. We'll be right back.